Um, before we get to Minister Coteau and Kevin, let me introduce you to our guest speaker. Robert Baudreau is an award-winning writer, director, and producer based here in Toronto. He studied film in Western Canada before we, we got hold of him here. He made a series of short films early in his career that included Dry Whiskey, which I'm pleased to tell you was actually supported through OMDC's old call, calling card program. So apparently we recognized his talents very early on. Uh, he also wrote the comedy Banksters that was theatrically released in the US last year. And of course, his latest feature, Born to be Blue, produced by our own Jennifer Jonas and Len Farlinger, is part of uh, TIFF's 2015 special presentation series. It's a film about jazz le legend Chet Baker. It stars Ethan Hawke, and it's well worth your time. Rob's participated in OMDC's International Financing Forum, our Producers Lab Toronto, and we'd kind of like to think that Born to be Blue was born there. Anyway, let, join me in welcoming Robert Boudreau, please. <clears throat> Just like to thank um, Karen and everybody at the OMDC, uh, James Wayman, Christine Murphy, uh, Martin Harbury, who's, who's since moved along, uh, for inviting me here and spotlighting uh, our film. Uh, one of the things that I love most about making movies is collaboration and partnership. And when I look back on the journey of Born to be Blue, which like a lot of projects has taken many years, and I look back at the support that the OMDC has given me, they've really been true partners. Um, starting about 10 years ago, I did a, an OMDC calling card film, which was, an OMD, which was a, one of the OMDC's programs at the time, which led to my first feature film. Um, and then, uh, as, as Karen mentioned, I participated in a couple of the networking events that they do, the International Financing Forum and the Producers Lab, where I met uh, Jennifer Jonas, who is my producing partner, along with her partner, Leonard Farlinger, at New Real Films. And I'd like to thank Jen and Len, who are here somewhere. Um, they've also supported me uh, with export fund money, which is money to, to send filmmakers to places like Cannes and Berlin and around the world. And it was, it, it was um, the kind of people I met at those events um, that helped me uh, structure this project as an international co-production. So Born to be Blue is a Canada-UK co-production. And we teamed up with a, a London-based producer, Jake Seal at Black Hanger Studios. And I'd like to thank Jake if he's here uh, for being a great partner on this film as well. One of the challenges I think on the journey of this film was figuring out how to tell a story that's set in 1950s, 1960s LA and shoot it in Ontario and we ended up shooting it in Sudbury in November. And so locations were a very important thing that we had to figure out and again the OMDC was critical in helping us with location support uh, along the way. And, and finally I think and most importantly they helped Born to be Blue with, with production money. They've also helped me in the past with development money. And I think um, other than the industrial support and help they obviously give, they also give filmmakers a lot of creative freedom to tell the stories that we want to tell and explore the themes and issues. In Born to be Blue, you know, we explore themes of addiction and race and themes that I think are really relevant today as they were in the 50s and 60s. And, um, the other thing I'd like to note is that they've also been very patient in terms of, of holding on to money for filmmakers, committing early, and allowing them to leverage that money to help us make the movie. It's often that last bit of money that's the difference between making a movie or not making a movie. And in that regard, they often kind of go hand in hand with a lot of the other um, government sponsors here who I'd quickly like to mention and thank. Um, and so one of our major partners was Telefilm Canada. I'd like to thank Stephanie Azam and Dan Lyon um, at the NOHFC, um, who are another major partner, uh, Melanie Muncaster, Denis Richon, John Symington. Uh, our distribution partner in Canada was E1. I'd like to thank Christina Kubaki and uh, Mark Sloan and the whole team at E1. And our pay TV partners, TMN and Chorus. And, and in terms of the rest of the financing for the project, we had an Ontario-based gap financier productivity and some, several other um, Ontario-based exec producers, including um, Adam Morito, who's here tonight as well. Um, so in, in finishing up, I'd just like to say this movie would not have been possible without the support of the OMDC, 
I think we're very, very lucky here in Ontario to have uh, all of the various agencies working together and UMDC supporting in so many different ways. And I look forward to, um, to more future partnerships with UMDC and others. Thanks.